Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Young Justice Phantoms, season number four, episode number six, Artemis to the Looking Glass, and we're still following Artemis now. We just watched her pretty much grieve Connor. And you haven't you we haven't seen um again what she what she's going through. But they do show Beast Boy. And he's depressed. I mean, he just lost one, he lost his best friend. I don't know what happened at, after he left Mars, because he's back on Earth now. Is Magan still there? I, I don't know what's going on. They, it, it, and they fill that part in, but he, he's not doing well. And every so often they show him, he's, he's, not, he's not happy. I mean, his team trying to cheer him up and say, hey, let's go out, I got a mission. He said, no, y'all got this, I, I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, you can tell he's, 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 not, he's not doing quite well right now. I mean, he had some brain Stuff happened to him. I mean, he almost lost it. He almost, he, he, he almost got Connor killed in the first place, and then Connor actually does die. And there's a lot of things happen. I still don't believe Connor's dead, though. I think, they, I think they're playing this little, little thing a little bit too long now. They gotta let this thing go because Connor's alive. He, he better be. That's all I gotta say. But either who, now we're following Artemis, and we also get a little bit more of Artemis' backstory here. And the thing that's going on in her past is kind of reflecting what's going on in her present time. Artemis, uh, uh, you, got, you got Jade beating Artemis' boyfriend, which is very awkward and also a very funny, funny, funny moment as well, too. I mean, and you got um, Artemis still trying to pretty much save her sister, even though her sister does not want to be saved. Trying to get her sister to be part of her daughter's life any way possible. So the only way she can get her in there is pretty much saying, hey, those people came after me. And they came to her house where your daughter lives. Because if I die, they probably want to kill her too. So I think you better help me out here. Keep your daughter safe. Isn't that what you want? Because so now you got Jay working with, uh, with Artemis trying to figure out if the pe two people, Randall Savage's daughter, Cassandra Savage, and this girl, the girl named Onyx are actually defecting from, from the League of Saturals. Are, are they actually turning their back on the League and trying to become the good guys now? Or are they just pure evil and they're waiting for the opportunity to stab them in the back? And so they, they say, okay, no, no. Jay... You're dirty, you're shady, you're part of you were part of the league, you left. So if anybody would know for sure if they're telling the truth or not, it'll be you. We also get some other attacks from other league members here. You guys gonna be turning a black spider. Even though Black Spider does not act like how Black Spider is in the comic books, but eh, whatever. And the, the, the funny thing is, though, how they try to make him so much like Spider-Man, which is so messed up because I don't know how they get away with how they get, get away with this. Can they get sued for this? Can they get sued? By Marvel can figure out or somebody because he's they're doing a, a dark Spider Man. That's all they're doing. Even though I don't know how Black Spider is at all. The only reason why he's called Black Spider because he's actually he's a black man and he he has like a whole, whole spider thing going on for him. I mean he, he all he is pretty much is just a ninja. That's that's it. But either who watching him in action because he because the thing is though even though he's a rip off of Spider Man clearly he, he is a fun character to watch. He also brought. He also brought in a, another, a new bad guy who's mostly like a, a, a robot. I think it was a woman, I think, or a cyborg, or whatever it is. Either way, it don't really, she, she didn't really say much, so you don't, you don't, you didn't get a good feel of who she is as, or he is as, as a character. Because because Black Power was doing all the talking, so that was very interesting. So, a cool action sequences right here, too. I'm still enjoying how the story is being told, where it's going. Because first, they were focused on, I posted on McGann, um, Connor, and Beast Boy. And Beast Boy doesn't make an appearance in here, but now they're focusing mostly on Artemis and her family and her background, where she, where she, how she grew up, certain cold words that um, her and Jay used to say to one another because Jay decided to leave home because she got tired of her father. And they used to say certain codes to one another. So, 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 um, Artists would know um, where to meet her, how, how to give her food, stuff, 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 like, stuff like that. But like I said, I, I'm enjoying this story. It's not as the, the subject matter is not as heavy as it was previously with the subject matter they were, they were talking about earlier. Now that the most focus is mostly just on the characters and a little bit of the aftermath of what happened with, with Connor here. People like dealing with grief, and you got. Artemis, so because of the grief she has for Connor, trying to like been try, still trying to like fix her family. You see, even, even as a child, she's trying to keep her family together. So now she now she says, you know what? My father's a lost cause. My, my I'm, I'm still close to my mom, but my my mom thinks that you're a lost cause. But I I still believe in you. I think you could come back to my on our side. You might not be a, you might not be a good guy, but at least you'd be part of your daughter's life. Good lord. Also, got some twisting here, finding out about who um, Orphan's parents, or at least her mother, her mother is. Now, the comments already knew this already. I, I, I can't remember. I can't forget. I forgot who her father's name is, though. But 
we get to see her backstory, and and while she doesn't talk and stuff like that, that, that gets explained in here as well too. So another great episode. I'm still enjoying this season. I'm not exactly sure where this is going, how this is going to end up, and what's the like the main story is really. I don't really know for sure because I just focus focusing on the whole thing with the Martian situation, and now we focus now we back on Earth. So how everything's going to hook up? Like who is really the bad guy in this situation? Like who's the big main threat? That part I don't really quite know for sure. But I'm looking forward to see what we we'll find out, and I'm enjoying the, the journey that that is going into. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Young Justice. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy having watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.